So you're ready for my 10-week, two-month update? I bet you are. But first, I'm Tara. I'm 49 years old. I live in New York. I have three children, two dogs, a cat, and a husband, and I am on a weight loss journey to be fit by 50. I, in my adult life, have not been under 200 pounds, and I am going to change that. Thanks to my bariatric doctors at NY Bariatric, I am utilizing a medication called Saxenda that helps me to lose weight by working with the hormones that control hunger and making them work correctly so that I don't feel hungry all the time and I can diet and exercise the proper way and successfully. And so far, with two months down, I've lost 23 pounds and 23 inches. So nothing has really changed weight-wise since last week, which is fine, because what I'm learning is sometimes my body holds on to weight for a little while and then drops it very suddenly. Month two's total weight loss was nine pounds, and I swear I lost that over 12 days. I didn't lose anything the whole month. Then for 12 days, I lost nine pounds, and then I didn't lose anything for like another five days. So it really just is how my body handles weight loss. I don't know why. Um, I did go over with my doctor. I'm getting a lot of people coming at me saying I'm not eating enough because I'm basing it on my BMR and not my TD, but... I spoke to my doctor and, and the doctor agrees with the nutritionist with the amount of calories that I'm having anywhere between 900 and 1200 is fine for optimal weight loss and it's perfectly healthy. My diet is low in carb and fat and high in protein, which is what you need to be successful. Your body needs protein. It needs the other things too, but not at high levels. What did change this week is utilizing my Apple Watch so that I can make sure I'm getting the exercise I need, keeping track of the exercise, and I am doing a lot of toning. Leg, st leg raises, leg exercises, butt exercises, ab exercises, arm exercises, all of those to facilitate a fat burn. Walking is really good for you, and I get 5,000 steps a day right now, sometimes more, but at least 5,000 steps a day. But the toning stuff is really important because that's fat burn. The walking burns my calories and it does burn, it does help me lose weight and it does burn fat, but not to the level that a toning exercise, weightlifting, things like that will do. I'm also drinking my water. I think I told you in my last video to find it easier. I'm putting Mio drops in it to flavor it. It's going down nice, so that's good. I'm trying to incorporate different things into my diet as substitutions. I'm using Noom, and Noom talks a lot about not eliminating but substituting. But elimination is okay, but if you can substitute, it's even better, right? So I substituted oat milk for half and half in my coffee, which I like. I really like. I wouldn't do it if I didn't. I wouldn't give up my half and half if I didn't really like it. I definitely, I love it in iced coffee, but it's good in hot coffee too. And another thing like I did that I thought was pretty slick I made tacos for dinner last night, turkey chop meat tacos. And instead of using a taco shell, I put it on a rice cake and it was delicious. It really worked. Um, I was satisfied and I could only eat one. And that was pretty fantastic. And I didn't feel like I missed out on taco night with my family. I just had the rice cake, the taco, some low fat cheese and a tomato. Well, not a whole tomato, but you know, a slice of tomato. So one of the things I'm really working on now is not focusing on that number. And I know I've said that before because no matter how much I know that the number isn't what matters on the scale because I'm doing something good for me, as long as I stick with the program, I know it'll come off eventually. It's still really tough to not see it go down. You want to see it go down, right? That's why we go on diets, to see it go down. And I don't like to say diet. I like to say my life plan. But let's face it. I want to see the numbers going down. And so when I don't, it gets very frustrating. And that is normally the time when I would give up, right? Um, I'm sure that some of you all are with me on that. That is optimal giving up time. But I stuck it out last month. I'm going to stick it out this month. I'm going to get through this um, because I know it's a temporary thing. I am going to hit 1,200 calories today because I'm allowed to go up to 1,200. I'm going to hit 1,200 calories today and see if that has an effect. Um, I ate breakfast today. I normally, see, I normally eat like in a weird way. Um, it's not really um, that fast, intermittent fasting or whatever, but it kind of is. And, but today I ate oat, plain oatmeal with some banana in it for breakfast. I had, I had, I actually had a Whopper for lunch today, but I didn't eat the bread. So it was only like 300 calories. It was like 400, almost 400 calories when I count the cheese. Um, 
but it was really good. And it was a nice food opportunity for me. It was a life opportunity. And I took it. It was really because I was on the road with my daughter because we had a communion dress mishap. It turns out it's not going to be until July. And since her communion is in like 10 days, I thought that probably wouldn't work. So we had a quick run to J.C. Penney's of all places because that's the only place I could think that has them on the rack, right? So we go to J.C. Penney's and we find one, thank gosh. There's only two left in her size and she happens to love one of them. And we got her shoes and we did it all for under 100 bucks. So hello meant to be right um so we were on the road so she wanted burger king and i said okay and so i had to eat so I, I i got that which was fine this is another snack this is this bag contains three servings i actually did two servings out of it so i counted the calories one and a half one and a half um they are so good um these are a little bit more calorie wise than like regular plain rice cakes but they're really good, and they kind of they they're another good substitute for chips. I'm not really that much of a chippy person, a chip person, but it's still good. Um, and the ranch flavor is really delicious. So, but I got a bunch of flavors, and I won't eat them constantly. And I got another package coming of uh, smaller bags because I'd rather have it in the right portion size so I don't make a mistake and overeat because it's so easy to do, you know. Um, you know, I'm sticking to my normal protein, having at least one protein shake a day, because then I know I've gotten something nutritive in. You know, I'm doing all those things. I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to do. I'm looking forward to getting the weight off, but knowing that it's going to come in its due time, and I have to just be um, ready for that. Um, but one of the things we, someone brought up in one of my in my live today on TikTok. I do TikTok lives um, twice a day. Uh, someone brought up that they were having weight loss surgery and all that. And I was saying to them that they should get counseling because I had weight loss surgery and there's a lot of stuff you don't take into account. Even now doing this, um, on the weight loss medication, people want to sabotage you even when they don't realize they're sabotaging you, you know, and they have their own various reasons. And again, I don't know that they do it on a conscious level, but they do it. And that's something you have to be prepared to deal with because you can't, you cannot force people not to sabotage. You can't make people stop. You can tell them you don't like what they're saying. You can stop being around them. But people say the things they say, and I don't know that they set out to hurt hurt you or anybody else, but I think that you have to control the power their words have over you. You know, every time I'm on a weight loss journey, I hear at least once a week, oh, that sounds like somebody with an eating disorder. So getting healthy and getting fit and watching my calories sound makes me sound like somebody with an eating disorder. All right, well then color me eating disordered. I don't I don't know because I think that it's perfectly natural to want to be healthy and I think that people don't like I said they don't realize they're doing it but they have their own reasons. Maybe they too are heavy and are having a hard time meeting their goals or maybe they're not heavy but they like having that eating partner because people tend to eat based on what they see being eaten. So if you go out to dinner with somebody who's normally like your go-to girl for hot fudge sundaes and big fattening meals, and suddenly they're having the baked fish and steamed vegetables, you suddenly don't want to order the big plate of disco fries and cheese and burgers and then have a hot fudge sundae afterwards if your eating partner is no longer doing that. So... I, I just think that everyone has their own reasons for doing it. And I don't think that they're generally aware, but it's our job to not let the sabotages sabotage us. And that's where I'm going to leave you today. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.